Hi guys and welcome back to Cashpoint. Redbubble gives us all a fantastic opportunity to generate a form of passive income. If you don't know about Redbubble already, go check it out. If you do know already, you probably are wondering how you can really make money from Redbubble, especially as there are some who complain about how long it takes them to even see their first sale. Well in this video, we're going to cover 5 ways you can boost your Redbubble passive income. But before I get into that, I want to address this notion that Redbubble is a get rich quick scheme. If you don't remember anything else from this video, please at least remember this. If it's easy, everyone would do it and there'll be no one to pay you for your efforts. If it's hard on the other hand, almost no one would do it and if you were to make it, there will be plenty of people to pay you for your efforts. With that said, let's dive straight into our 5 ways to boost your Redbubble income. Number 1. Research your market and create captivating designs. Not even the likes of Apple, Microsoft or Nike would simply design and market a product and then just hope for the best. No. They would have strict targets to reach based on an efficient allocation of their time and resources. They would want much better control over their chances of success and consequently they would first look to understand their consumer before even thinking of what the product will even look like. You must do the same if you want to truly boost your chances of generating return on your Redbubble business. Think about your target consumer. What do they like? What's popular? Which styles, genres, themes, characters, expressions are resonating with the demographic you have chosen to target? Which styles are saturated? Which other styles are growing and showing further potential for growth? Once you have the right information about your target market, the next step is to make captivating designs which you know will be wanted by your consumers. The idea is always to match supply with the demand that exists at any given point in time. Give your consumers what they want. And by creating a truly captivating design, the public will differentiate your products from the rest, thereby allowing you to generate a profit. Number two. Target Seasonal Trade Another excellent way to boost your Redbubble income is to think about consumer spending patterns. What do people look to buy in the winter, at Easter, during the spring, the summer, at Thanksgiving, in the autumn, at Christmas, etc, etc. Consumer spending patterns are not linear. They fluctuate and they vary from one category of goods to another. You need to understand these patterns and to match your Redbubble offering if you want to maximize your revenue during the year. If you do, you might even hit upon a rich vein of sales. For example, during the Christmas period where so many consumers are looking to buy products as gifts for loved ones. Remember the seasons change and any business that falls out of season will also fall out of favour. Number 3. Make volume. Now this one is simple mathematics. The more you have to sell, the more consumers have to choose from and the more likely they are to buy from you. Redbubble allows you to market your designs on multiple products and of course, each product will have its own unique market characteristics. For example, the market for t-shirts is different to the market for clocks. If you don't make enough volume and too much of your sales are focused on a market with less demand, say for example stationary, you will of course be missing out on potential sales in other markets. The key is therefore to make volume across multiple types of products so that you can maximize your returns. Number 4. Advertise on social media. This is obvious, I know, 
but is still so underutilized by Redbubble creators and entrepreneurs. Social media accounts are easy to set up, and in terms of advertising, they are fair because you really do get back what you put in. If you only promote your awesome products sporadically or at very low levels, you will get sporadic responses and little material benefit in terms of Redbubble traffic. You have to put yourself out there. You have to be a multi-platform, positive, relentless, social media posting machine. Your products are the best thing since sliced bread, after all. So all you're doing is simply letting people know that it's actually possible to buy them. Once you do, they will be falling over themselves to snap up your products. Number five, constantly review your offering and adjust your prices. Just like the artworks you make, you also need to be intelligently designing your business strategy. If, for example, one type of design does not seem to sell, you should, of course, look to update it. If another design starts to take off, you need to investigate why that is and think about how to maximize that opening. Another very important aspect of Redbubble is your pricing. Yes, the higher markups will give you a higher return. But do remember that basic economic principles apply in this situation. So if you price a product which is higher than what most people are prepared to pay, your sales will either suffer or simply not be maximized. So you need to think carefully about people's willingness to pay for your product. And by all means, if the converse is true and you have a killer design, which is selling like hotcakes, an increase in price will also be warranted. Boosting your income on Redbubble is all about strategy, time, and perseverance. Every business starts off slowly. And so in this sense, patience is critical. Remember, effort and reward are two closely linked concepts. And if you keep at it, if you keep up your efforts, you will eventually succeed. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on our future videos. Until the next time, stay sharp out there, stay hungry and stay cash bright.